you're really giving something a chance to bloom, a chance to grow by being happy that it's here, grateful that it's here, you know, and it might not be enough right now. But be grateful for what you have. Hey everybody, welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing? I love, love, love your comments. These morning message uh, readings I'm doing that I have been doing for probably a year now. The messages that you guys write, the comments you guys write, really do drive ideas for other, I, other videos. So if you have ideas for other videos, other questions you have of me, please drop a comment below. Uh, we've been talking this journey for a long time now, and I'm interested to see where you are and what's going on with you. So drop a comment. Let me know what's going on. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share if you like my comments. Some of you have watched for a long time and haven't subscribed. I'm like, what? Anyway, so give it a subscribe. Okay, thanks a lot. Let's see where we go. Uh, tonight, tonight we are doing a live Q and A on the North Node and South Node. Uh, you can jump on that if you like. Ask questions. Ask your questions. I put up two videos over the weekend. Uh, it shows karmic path. This is a piece of the spiritual blueprint, which I'll be talking about later in the month. All right. So if you want to prepare yourself for that spiritual blueprint class, it's great to get in the know about North Node. Link is below for the Q&A sessions and the Spiritual Blueprint class. All right, what's going on today, my darlings? What is going on today? Oh, your greatest joy pollinates the world. I love that card. Bloom where you are planted. Wow. <laughs> Polish your mirror for perfect clarity. I just feel like this is saying to me, you have everything you need right now. It's all with you. And it doesn't mean that there aren't other people in your life or places to go, things to do, places to see. It doesn't mean that. What it really means is that this is more of a mindfulness kind of exercise where, where what do you have right now around you and being grateful for the things you have gratitude for my house gratitude for my friends gratitude for my job gratitude for my work my connection to spirit gratitude for my health uh all of these things it is a little bit about standing in the place that you are in and especially i think especially you know, it's one thing to do that when you're really enjoying the place you're in. If you're not enjoying the place you're in or you want to continue to grow, uh, this is the challenge to embrace the space, all right? Embrace the space that you're in regardless of how you feel about it, how you've labeled it. Have you labeled it a positive? Have you labeled it a negative? This, where I am, is terrible, blah, blah, blah. If you keep saying that, it's going to continue to be true. You get me? So the more you can see the beauty in wherever you are, regardless of what's going on, that is a huge spiritual gift challenge. It is a huge spiritual tool. Radical acceptance of where you are, regardless of what it looks like to other people or what it looks like to you even, because you know, I've seen that meme about like the job you have, you know, maybe you hate the job you have, but somebody else would love that job, right? Like there's so, there's some inherent goodness in every single space, even in grief, even in difficult circumstances, there is, I mean, obviously I'm an optimist, but that's the kind of challenge you're being asked to embrace here is find the good in every single moment. And that's what you will cultivate more of. If you're only finding the bad, you're inviting more bad. For the very simplest, most basic thing. If you're focused on that, that's what will persist. If you're focused on expansion and joy and abundance and love and all those things, if you're focused on that as a high vibration positive, that will show up. Okay, the most basic 
manifesting tool you have is your gratitude. So that's being asked of you right now is to embrace where you are, see, flip it around on yourself. If you want to write down like all the things that are going on right now in a neutral way, right? Let's use our uh, coming up our Aquarian energy. We're moving into Aquarius later this month. So use that Aquarian energy to kind of whoop, distance yourself. We do have a full moon in Cancer coming up and that is about releasing those feelings that are holding you back or releasing any kind of negativity and instead nurturing and being loving to self is the thing you want to do so let's start there let's start there let's embrace what we have and then more and more and more if you if you are hating on your bank account if you're hating on money money doesn't go where it's hated all right, money does not go where it's hated. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Oh, yes, Five of Wands, the world. I like this already. Ah, <laughs> we're talking about abundance for a reason here. King of Pentacles, the Moon, Ace of Cups. All right, I'm messing this up already. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Look at all this page energy and the Ace energy star. Ah, oh, there's the Aquarian energy. The healing energy is coming in. Page of Swords. Messages trying to come through. Page of Pentacles. Please learn some new skill set. I had uh, definitely yesterday when I was talking about journaling and things like that, it was interesting that I got some comments about what am I supposed to write in the journal? You're supposed to write your feelings. Your feelings are your uh, roadmap. Okay. And how does that work? Your feelings are showing you, am I in alignment? Am I out of alignment? If I don't like where I am, then you're actually out of alignment. Okay. So embrace what you have, have joy in what you have and ask the alignment to come in. So that's when you shift, right? That's when you shift out of things that are, are problematic for you or feel scary for you or something like that. So learning new things. Be open to learning a new way. Be open to journaling. Be open to meditation. Meditation will change your life. 12 minutes in the morning, 12 minutes at night. The most important 24 minutes in a 24-hour cycle. Okay? Carve out the time. Commit to yourself. If you're trying to manifest, the biggest thing that's going to change that is learning how to meditate. Okay, the biggest thing that's going to change that in February, I'm going to start working on teaching meditation, I guess is the right way to put it. I, I think that's at the core of the whole thing, because I know from my own experience, it changes your life. So February soul school, we're going to start talking about how to meditate, how to move into that higher level consciousness, how to leave things behind. That is the thing that's going to change the circumstances if you're wanting to manifest something new. Okay, so learning something new. And in this deck, the Five of Wands, it's like you and me, let's fight the dragon together. You don't have to go it alone. I'm here every day. <laughs> I'm here every day. So, so bring it. I'm here every day, right? And ending in a new beginning. The, the, the starting of learning something new wraps up things that are, you know, Anxiety is, is masking your um, ability to manifest. It's showing you in some ways what the things are that you need to bring your attention to. And then when you take action in that regard, the, the anxiety gets lower, right? And anxiety is really showing you what's going on in your subconscious. It's really bringing these things out. It's not just to like shove them back under the water or shove them back in a dark closet and lock the door. That's not the, that's not what anxiety is showing you. Anxiety is showing you is my fears, my fears. So let's look them right in the face. Let's look them right in the face. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? What is the thing that keeps coming up for you? That's what you journal about and then flip it. It's the thing that your fear, I'm going to do some more Chiron videos pretty soon, but your fear, when you flip that around, becomes your greatest strength. Chiron in your, uh, in your um, birth chart shows you something you might think of as your biggest weakness, but it's actually your biggest strength, especially when you focus on it and do healing work around it, 
um, do shadow work around it. Shadow work is, is those fears that crop up. It's those things that come, you know, bump in the night in your dreams. It's those, you know, the things you most want to resist, but the power is in the embracing. That's where the power is. So King of Pentacles and the moon, the King of Pentacles looks right at their fear. There is no such thing as the King of Pentacles being afraid. The, the King of Pentacles, some of you might be afraid of money or afraid to, um, or feel like you don't have the right to have a lot of money or, or uh, having a lot of money is a tremendous responsibility, right? It's about managing it. It's about taking care of it, about loving it and about being grateful that it's here. Instead of saying, I don't have enough, say, this is enough. What I have right now is enough. What I have right now is enough in that loving way. And what you're really saying is everything that comes in is enough at this moment. And I'm happy for it. I'm grateful for it. And then more comes and then more comes and then more comes. So you're not saying like, okay, it's enough for right now, but you're really giving something a chance to bloom, a chance to grow by being happy that it's here, grateful that it's here, you know, and it might not be enough right now. But be grateful for what you have. You know, how many times have we had something in our life, someone in our life that we've taken for granted, and then it, when it goes, we're really sad about that. So embrace what you have in your life right now, and the universe will bring you more. Ace of Cups coming in. I feel like there is an illusion around money here. There's an illusion around power, what I'm allowed to have, my um, self-confidence, isn't is saying oh i you know i don't know enough to start a youtube channel i don't know enough to talk about astrology i don't know enough to you know make a business and ask people to pay me for my my gifts that i have innately but also the things that i've developed something new coming in some kind of new gift coming in allowing that to be some of you might have resisted a new gift okay some of you might have resisted um mediumship right i remember when after my mother passed away um and I was opening up to that mediumship gift about speaking to those who have passed away. And, and my mother showed up a couple weeks after she died and immediately shut it down. I'm like, nope, not doing this. Come to me in my dreams. So it set me back in terms of my own gift because I was like, nope, don't want to do this right now. Like, oh, I can't talk to you. But if you allow things to unfold in their time and not be afraid of them, then your life will flow, then your abundance will flow. Being happy for what you have right now, embracing what you have right now in a joyful way. That's always the best way to shift direction. If you're angry about it, if you're pissed about it, if you're frustrated about it, those feelings metastasize. So shift the feelings. Embrace the fear, it's showing you the path, okay? so. Some of you could have put a lot of time and effort into things. And if this is about a relationship, some of you could be dealing with, I only see, I see Aquarius and I see Pisces right now. And some of you could be dealing with, whoops, whoa, there we go. Come on, come on. Focus, focus. Yeah, focus. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles and Page of Cups. Some of you could be doing this kind of work. I do feel like, you know, focusing on the new, focusing on, the uh, new information coming in, focus on your own generosity, your own, you know, thankfulness and everything like that. And then I feel like you have helpers coming in here. Look at this. So you have, you see how you're fighting there, that five of wands, but there's a helper, right? You are in union, creating union for yourself by, by embracing this gratitude. There's a helper here. Someone is coming in to bring new information to you, new stability, new, maybe offering you a new job, maybe offering you something new. This person could be somebody who has a lot of money or has a lot of stability and they're teaching you by their own how they have learned to create money, which is a lot of the things I just said to you uh, about how to create abundance. It definitely stems from being grateful for what you have, no matter what that is and opening up to things that you may feel are beyond you. You may feel like you don't have enough uh, awareness of tarot. You may feel like you don't know about what your path is. Watch those videos I did over the weekend. What's my karmic path? Okay. And all of these things are coming in in order to heal. Star energy here is about healing. 
So I'm going to continue on with this, but this does feel to me about like getting in alignment to bloom where you are, embracing where you are in the moment, having gratitude for it. And then you're able to see things more clearly. Polish your mirror for perfect clarity. I'll read you this bloom where you're planted in the extended. I'll keep going. But I do see um, Aquarius and Pisces. Um, I want to clarify one thing. This Seven of Pentacles. Because the King of Pentacles coming in <clears throat> could be a person offering you some kind of new job or new opportunity or new relationship. Seven of Pentacles. The Five of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Okay? So by doing this work, by walking this path, by embracing your fear and seeing why you're afraid. Why am I afraid of this thing? Why am I afraid of money? Why am I afraid to take this step? Why am I afraid? That's what's, that's, this person will come in, this King of Pentacles will come in and make a new offer that will help you move on to the next level. So if you have been having regrets about the past, feeling overwhelmed, now you're starting to see your patterns, you're starting to see these things, that's the thing. This is like the turning point to going toward abundance, going toward a new opportunity. Um, it is being grateful. It is, it is not resisting the path and feeling like, ugh, this is a terrible place to be in. It really is about embracing what you have right at this moment. Okay, so that's what's being asked of you here. So I will continue on. I will look at um, Pisces and Aquarius. That's what's showing up right now. All right, so if you want to continue on, the link is below. The links for classes are below. If you're part of Pathfinder's group, the rest of the reading starts right now.